Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see the animation property, which is fill line. Okay. So in the previous session, we have seen that fill color and all, right? So let's see what is this uh, fill line. Okay. So let's take one switch. We can do with slider also, but I'm taking switch also okay keep it over here and uh, name this as sw1 because already we have created this sw1 fine so go for it now i'm going to change the line for line color for this particular uh, you know object fine so click on this go for line color can you see the line color here yes this line color go for discrete go for discrete now give the tag name for which tag name you want to change the color okay so i'm giving this uh, slider i mean what is not slider or switch so go for the sw1 switch fine so when it is true what color you want so let's make that as fluorescent green and when it is zero, I want this to be red. Just give like this. Okay. Go for okay. Go for okay. Fine. Now go for online. Yeah. Can you see the line color is changed to red color? Got it? If you turn on, it changed to blue. I mean, sorry, green color. So this is com only line. It's not about fill color and all. It's only line. Fine. See? That's it. Why it is in a black color means because already we have given some properties. This property we have seen, no. That's what it is like this. Fine. So if you want to enable the border of the project, I mean border of the object means you can go for this option. Right. If you turn on, it will be in this color. If you turn on, turn off, it will be in the color you have given. Fine. So go for the development page and... Uh, Click on this, just go for discrete. This is discrete, right? The discrete means it's you need to give the digital tag. Instead of that, just disable that, go for analog. Go for analog. Now here you can change for the analog tags. Shall we take the level tag? For the slider we have given the level, right? Take this. and. See, it is not similar to uh, the discrete, right? See, for discrete, just a minute. Oh, two. we need to update this. Okay. For the discrete, whatever we have given, see, for the discrete, what we have given, just a 1 and 0 was there. So, it is easy to give, right? So, for analog, for analog, you need to give multiple ranges. It's not only stopping with a 0 and 1. It is having multiple options. So, check on analog. Now give the tag value. Now update here. So for 0, what is the color? Okay, so what I am going to give means, see our slider is having the range of 0 to 100. So I am giving 0 to 10. Just give 10 here and some update some colors. So I will just update the numbers first, then I will select the color. 30, 40, 40. This should be in the increasing order. Okay. This should be in the increasing order. You cannot give the lower number towards right side. Fine. So, I am giving some color like we will go for red first. Then when it is 10, it is green. When it is 20, it should be some different color. So, that you can see, no. So, that is what I am giving some different colors. Okay. You can give same color also. No issues. And go for again fluorescent okay go for okay go for okay go for online now now it is in a red color fine increase this yeah can you see color is changing of the border of the object yes yes can you see still it is changing i have given one more uh, animation no so it is started moving 
so i'll do one thing i'll disable that property percentage fill i'm just disabling go for okay make this to small so that you can see better see it is in red color now increase green color whatever color we have given for the range it will be like that see it is changing yeah see and at last it will be green this is the color i have given that's it okay so it is changing the outline you cannot expect inside that is fill color this is just a line color the object border you can name it as object border fine so like that you can give to some other objects also let's see for which one we can give yeah same thing for this and all you can go for this fill color options or line color option whatever object you can taken from uh, you know symbol factory you can give for that let we try for this yeah go for discrete this one go for okay go for okay go for run time so for zero it is in red color correct this is sw1 if you turn on it is changed to green color so for symbol factory objects also you can give got it fine yeah go for the development page let's try for analog also disable this enable this analog same it is already updated no so no need of changing anything go for run time it's initially in red color if you increase it is changing the color just check out the border color okay check out the border color yeah can you see the border color is changing yes so now it is blue color border that's it okay so this is line color line color we have seen discrete and analog fine so just practice this in a software i'll meet you in the next session with another interesting topic bye